96, 97, 98, 99. Yes, there we go. 62 now. Jerome here along with Slayer and welcome, welcome to an awesome episode of Prisons. It's not going to be your ordinary episode of Prisons, however. Today, we have a little bit of a challenge on our hands. Now, thanks to you guys, we got an XP booster with a 17 times multiplier. The reason for that is because we had a challenge where for every 100 likes in the prior episode, we would get a 1 times multiplier. Now, because it was about 2 weeks ago and then Slayer went on vacation, we ended up getting up to 2,400 likes, which would have been a 24 times multiplier. But in order to be fair and also to keep us on track with Tyler, who had a 17 times multiplier in the same challenge, we also took a 17 times. -er. Now, the stakes have never been higher because we are going to have 10 minutes on the clock using this multiplier in order to get for ourselves three loot boxes. The way we unlock those loot boxes is by getting to level 65. So if we get to 65 by the end of 10 minutes, then we get to open them up. And I am so excited because they're brand new. They don't even exist yet. They come out on Friday. So if you're a fan of the server, stay tuned for that and uh, go and check those loot boxes out when they drop. All right, so let's get ourselves into the proper position here. We're going to want to go over to the redstone mine. Get ourselves, just, you know, all situated here. So I think we got to jump east, it was, if we wanted to get this thing. So here we go. East is this way. And oh man, oh man, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Also, I just realized, I didn't even explain why I'm level 58 in the first place. Uh, off camera, we did an episode with Tyler over on his channel. Uh, and I managed to level up from like level 50 to 58 or something like that. I don't even remember exactly what it was. I think it was 50 to 58. That would explain why we had a little bit of a higher level. But we're going to go and head on into the middle of this area here. And then the timer will start immediately. All right, Slayer. Well, I'm ready if you if you think I'm ready. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger here. Three, two, one. Let the 10 minutes begin. Oh man, Slayer, I'm scared, man. I'm real scared. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit this. But uh, but on the plus side, I do have warp miner for 750 uses. That's gonna count, right? That's gonna help me out. Yeah, that, that's gonna be really OP. But I'm timing you here. I've got a 10 minute timer ticking down. Oh man, oh man. Also, on top of that, did you see my shatter ability, dude? When that thing goes off, it mines so. Ma dude, it's like 10 at the same time. That's yeah, wild. Yeah, it's OP for cash as well, which is the beautiful thing about shatter. Oh really? Why does it help out with cash? Well, because you, you're mining one block, but you're getting ten times the ores. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, good point, good point. I didn't even think about that. All right, well, so far, dude, I don't even know. I know, technically speaking, with the warp miner, that gives us, like, a times 30 uh, XP boost, but I still don't know if that's going to be enough for us here. I mean, oh, man. Mm, also, where's the best place to mine in here with the lowest guard tax? Because I'm paying 12% right now on guard tax, and that's, I don't know, that's a whole lot. I couldn't really say to be honest with you because obviously every single like planet and mine is different for guard placement So you've just got to try and find that sweet spot while you're mining really. Okay. Okay. Oh, man Well, we're level 59 now, so we are Moving on up moseying along. It's basically gonna be a little over a level every two minutes Slayer this oh man I might have been a little ambitious with this challenge here. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh no and Come on. Your inventory is full. Slash sell. Okay, ooh, that was an easy way to get $3,000. That's right, I didn't even think about that. We're gonna get a lot of money from this challenge, too. Okay. Yeah, just just don't gamble it all the way this time, yeah? Oh, yeah, oh, well, I don't know about that. No promises here, Slayer. I might, I might coin know. flip at the end there. Oh, no, I'm getting worried. Now, what happens if I don't hit the goal? Am I allowed to open, like, one of them at least? Man. <laughs> Maybe two. Dependent on how close you are, we'll let, let, I'll let you open one or two. Okay, okay, then we've really got to work hard on this. Oh, God, this is so scary. It's so, so scary. All right, 86, 87, come on, 88, 89, 90. Oh, no. Yes, that helped me out a bunch there. Level 60, all right! And if you guys didn't know, the percent's on the side there, so you can see what percent I am to the very next level each and every time. So that's where I'm getting that number from when I was like 88, 89. Okay, come on. Powerball, save me, please. Powerball and Shatter are definitely going to be my biggest saviors, I think, for this. Yep, they will definitely be OP. Come on, the question please. is... Shatter, please help. Oh my gosh, my warp miner there is at 525 of 750. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I'm, I'm halfway, I'm halfway to 61 now. Yes, yes, yes. Am I crazy or does Shatter not give you extra XP? It only gives you extra ores of it. 
It only gives you extra shells. It doesn't give you the extra XP. Oh, man. Can you imagine if it gave you the extra XP? How much money you'd get? Jeez. I mean, how much, not money. I mean, how many levels you'd get. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, especially without booster right now. <laughs> because you only see the blocks that it breaks on the top, but Shadow also breaks the blocks below. Oh, so that's where they all come from. Yep. I didn't realize that there were blocks hidden underneath there. Yeah, like, like, uh, I'll show you quickly, like. <gasps> Whoa! There are ores down there! Yeah, they're specifically put there just for the Shadow Enchant. Wow, the more you know, the little secrets behind the cosmic right there. You, you. I found a great area for the redstone mine. I didn't even know it existed. I'm at 5% guard tax only, which is much better than the up to 15% you could pay in some areas of this area. Yeah, just be careful, though, because further away from guards, you are putting yourself at risk of people sneaking up on you. That is true, that is true. But fortunately enough, being we're not live streaming for this, I feel like the chances of me getting sniped yeah. out are very low. We've got about, if my calculations are correct, like six minutes left, and we're level 61. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you have five minutes, 43 seconds remaining. Oh, jeez. I don't think we're on track to do it, Slayer. It's going to be so <laughs> close, dude. It's going to be, like, literally right down to the wire here. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, I mean, a good thing, though, is now that you have surpassed level 60, you can start wearing iron gear as well, so that's going to help you a lot in these levels to come. Oh, yeah, that way I can protect myself. But at the same time... Oh, I found a 3% area. I didn't realize it got so low in these mines. Um, but uh, on the flip side of things, when do I get my iron pickaxe? That's not for a long while. Right? Level 70. Oh, that's not as far away as I thought it would be. Man, oh man, we might even next episode be able to get that. Can you imagine? We'd be so lucky. Okay, thank you. 96, 97, 98, 99. Yes, there we go! 62 now out of 65. We are really moving on up in this world. Oh no, Slayer. Oh, gosh, come on. Please, please, please. Dude, my warp miner might run out before I get to level 65. In fact, I think it oh, definitely no. will. Oh, no, that might be my biggest holdup now. Oh, if only I had warp oh, miner no. 2. Because I have warp miner 1 on here. I have a warp miner 3, but I don't have a warp miner 2. Oh, man. No. Slayer. It might be too much for us. <laughs> okay. How much time do we have left on the clock there? Four minutes, ten seconds. No, no, not four minutes, ten seconds. Yep. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Dude, this pickaxe is... Honestly, I, I gotta say, I am mega impressed. Like, this is the first real experience I had with this pickaxe, because I spent a lot of the last episode just enchanting it and everything. But now actually using it, dude... This is the best pickaxe I think I've ever had at a gold level. Um, in fact, looking at it as well, I'm, I'm willing to say this pickaxe is worth like a million, two million dollars if I was to put it on the auction. <laughs> if I was to sell I mean, this I, thing. I, I, I wouldn't sell it because you got to remember that once you hit 100, you've got a prestige, so you're going to be going back to level one. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't so you, sell it anyway. Yeah. You, you wouldn't. You don't want to sell it because otherwise you'll get back to this level and you'd be like, "Okay, where's my gold pickaxe?" And you'd be like, "Oh yeah, I see. You have to bunny away from it." Because I kind of, I think I already did tinker my stone and my wood one, but I guess that's not as big of a deal with the wooden stones. No, it's it's not as bad with those ones because they're quite cheap to make op, like OP pickaxes for them again. But golden up is where it starts to get really expensive, like energy wise. Yeah. Oh man. Well, Slayer. I am now at level 63. I am two levels away. Two minutes, 45 remaining. Oh my gosh, no way. No way, dude. This is way too close. Also, I'm getting quite the chunk of change here. I'm afraid to see how much it is. Because I'm always selling as soon as I get full, but I'll scroll over and see how much it is at the very end of this thing. No way, no way. I can't believe it, dude. I can, I mean, I know that obviously, I mean, that's a, a high percentage, of course, but I didn't realize how much that percent would actually help me. The, uh, the 17 times, because this is yeah. just unheard of. Yep, it is pretty OP. Oh, come on. Oh, someone just tried hitting me a couple times. Stop it! Don't be careful, you are really close to an enforcer. 
Okay. If you hit him in the wrong block, like just just go around that corner. Yeah. There, <laughs> there we go. Well, that guy is annoying. He stop. He's trying to get in my way <laughs> of getting this thing done. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, enforcers, please hit this guy. 88, 89, 92. Come on, 94. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm about to be one level away. How much time is left on the clock? You have one minute 22 remaining. One minute and 22 remaining. Come on, to get one level. Oh my god, this guy won't let up, dude. He's just being so annoying. He's only got a wood sword. He's literally just hitting me for the sake of hitting me. Okay, 20%. Dude, I'm gonna be so mad, because I'm gonna be- I'm gonna definitely come within, like, 10% of this thing. Oh my god, this guy's ruining it, because I have to stand over here now, so I can't get XP. Come on, dude! Am I far enough away? Can I just kill this guy? 45 seconds. Oh my... You... There we go. I got him down to 3 HP. Ah, No way, and we ran out of our warp miner. The combination of this guy trolling me plus the lack of warp miner. That's so sad, dude. I think we're not gonna hit it. Literally because of those two reasons. 25 seconds. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Dude, leave me alone! Oh, come on. I, I'm literally just fighting this guy now. Great. Oh no, you're villain. You're villain. You're yeah. villain. Do not run near a guard. Don't run near a guard. No, Joe, that's the wrong way. I'm, trying, no. I'm trying not to. This guy keeps trying to kill me. No! no. <laughs> We're not going to get <laughs> out of here in time. Oh my god, no. Oh no. How can I get out of here? You can't. The enforcer's on you. Oh man, well... Unfortunately, we made it to 64 and a half, but with that guy trolling, we just couldn't get the 65 Slayer. That's so annoying, dude. If he wasn't trolling, I actually think I could have done that. What does that mean for us, Slayer? You can you can have two, and you can have the next one on your next episode slash stream, so you have to wait for the third one. Oh, man! All right, I found them in Vault 50, so I'm taking out two of them now, and I also got a white scroll out, because we have to apply that to our pickaxe. Don't want to uh, accidentally lose that bad boy. And all right, let's go ahead and let's open it up. So Bunny Block, come on, we got an automatic ore gen booster, an item lore crystal. I'm gonna have to have you explain what that one does and a title. But here we go, four million cosmic energy and 48 times two legendary shards. That's 96 legendary shards. Oh my. Open it up another one of them. We get the same three automatically. The origin booster. We get the title. We also get the item lore crystal. And here we go. Oh, I saw the god enchant. We got a godly enchant. We got two XP boosters of three times. And an <laughs> energy forge fuel. Oh, man. Let's open it up. Come on. Godly enchant. Please be warp miner two. Warp miner five. <laughs> what percent? 60. Ooh. Dude. That can sell for a lot, a lot of cash. I want to keep it and use it myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Warp Miner 5, dude. That is wild. And those come out tomorrow, right? On Friday? Yeah. Oh man. I cannot wait. Let's open up these shards here quick. Let's see what else we can get in here. Oh, we're just rolling in it now with all this. When all's said and done, I can't wait to see what we end up with. Okay, boom, and then we have these, last few things to roll, and then we can stack them up here, and we'll, we'll see what the final damage is. So, there we go, $54,000, we could throw that on there, combining all the cosmic energies for 4.2 million of that. Oh, plus tinkering all the stuff we got, too. Let's see if we can get any more up there. Okay, so all those... We got 200,000 more cosmic energy from tinkering that. We got a legendary enchant, which happened to be lucky too. That's great. Uh, we got a five plus five percent charge orb. We got a 14% legendary dust, an 8% legendary dust, a bunch of legendary randomization scrolls. We got ourselves uh, item lore crystals, all good on those. Now, the last thing I gotta ask, Slayer, you gotta help us out here. What does an origin booster and an energy forge fuel do? So energy forge fuel are used for the new forges, which you can see on slash gens. And they're a type of like generator, which you can have in your cells. Nice. Um, you place, 
you place the forge, the, the energy forge fuel in the forge. And for if you mouse over them on slash gens, you can see the, how much fuel that each one can hold. And each fuel generates that amount of energy per hour. So they, they can be really OP. Like a maxed out VIP one will be generating over 7 million energy for you per hour on its own, just from letting it just sit there. Basically. Wow, that's so OP. Okay, and then what about the Origen booster? Just the same thing, but a bigger percent? So the Origen boosters is literally just when you activate it in your cell, it will fast forward all the generators in your cell that amount of time, and they will just automatically just generate that amount of ores on them. Wow, so that's awesome. Super OP. Well, I think we got $75,000 now. It's only fitting that we uh, go ahead and coin flip it before Slayer yells at us. There we go. Come on, put it all on black. Let's go. Oh, man, here we go. Someone took the offer. All right, come on, come on. Let's see. This guy's got 240000 so he needs this money, too. He's not like he's, like, loaded in millions. But, unfortunately, the money's going to have to go into our pot. <laughs> Bruh. There you go. Oh, per perfect yes that'll that'll stop me from losing well that's it everybody that's all we have time for today hopefully next episode slayer can unban me but uh apart from that take care peace out smash the like button subscribe check out those brand new loot boxes coming out tomorrow on friday and apart from that have an awesome day goodbye